The basis for good design are proportions. And the proportions are defined by the package. And the package and the proportion of the e gt are simply perfect. Now, honestly speaking, the, the biggest challenge has been to integrate the huge battery pack in the vehicle and to come up with the overall height, which is less than an Audi S7. So with the e gt we combine two worlds. Sportiness on the one hand, comfort on the other. This car offers space for four people. It's a four-seater, four doors. And this is a modern interpretation of a classical Grand Turismo. So we combine extremely sporty proportion with the comfort of a four-seater. I would say that the Audi e gt is the new brand shaper for Audi. Uh, it's our highlight in our portfolio. And personally for me, um, you know, I'm working for, for many years already as a professional designer. I did many cars with my team, but the e gt is by far the most attractive car I designed in my career. Um, the Audi e gt embodies the next level in our design language. That means for interior and exterior design. With the Audi e gt we combine on one hand performance and sustainability. Um, this is visible in exterior design by these aerodynamic features like air curtain, flush rocker, these sharp edges, huge diffuser in the rear end. And this is um, improving the aerodynamics and with this the range. In interior this is getting visible by the leather-free interior. For the first time you offer in the Audi e gt a leather-free interior. That means all the carpets are made from recycled PET bottles. And the seats cover is made from recycled fabric and PET bottles. So this is for the first time we offer a really sustainable approach at Audi. The detail at the Audi e gt which I like most, is the rear quattro muscle. You know, this huge, almost a half meter muscle, which is shaped very dramatic. And this is my favorite detail. It has been a big challenge to realize this in metal, uh, a fender like this. The Audi e gt offers nine different exterior colors, which you combine with different leather colors, le different stitching, and with fabrics, recycled fabrics. My favorite color for the Audi e gt is tactical green. Um, and this in combination with this recycled fabric, this, this visualizes our progressive and sustainable approach. Well, essentially, it was very simple. We followed the principle form follows function which means that in extremely interactive and close collaboration with our designers, we develop the surfaces of the vehicle so that they have an aerodynamic function, but also an aesthetic function. We achieved this result in two ways. First, we ensured that the basic shape of the vehicle is such that a minimum amount of lift is generated. The second major feature is that we have three different active aerodynamics measures which allow us to calibrate the lift balance of the vehicle depending on the driving configuration. Well, the aerodynamics highlights of the e-tron GT are many folds, but if I had to name two, they would be, first of all, the outstanding drag coefficient of 0.24 which I think is very, very good for a class of vehicle of this type. The second aerodynamic highlight is that through the various active measures that we brought into the vehicle, we were able to give our colleagues from the styling department as much freedom as possible to create a very, very aesthetic exterior design. It's very, very true that teamwork is essential when doing aerodynamics development. It's basically what we do every day. And a nice anecdote that I have is that when we were doing the aerodynamics optimization of the rear surface of the e-tron GT, we had the head of our lighting design department, Cesar Muntada, in the wind tunnel with us doing the optimization simultaneously together with the aerodynamicist. Aeroacoustics are indeed extremely important for a Gran Turismo of this type. We paid a lot of attention to the glazing concept, to the ceiling concept, and also used an uh, optimized uh, wing mirror in order to achieve the top results that we did for this vehicle. The 
even though I'm an engineer, finishing a vehicle project like this is in fact an emotional moment. What's particularly impressive for me is that we were able to achieve an outstanding drag coefficient in combination with a beautiful exterior design. And that's really something very, very important.